Thanks for dropping in. I'm Joe, this is 3D Printy, and these are designs to my treasure chest puzzle box. Let's dig in. So when designing a puzzle, I usually plan the mechanism first and come up with a form that matches it. In this project though, I already had a theme in mind, a Zelda inspired treasure chest. I would need to find a mechanism that could fit in that predefined form. The design would require parts that the puzzle solver could directly manipulate. My earliest sketches explored opening the chest like a roll top bread box, a rolling style door, which I only just learned is called a timbre door. While I found the mechanism interesting, it would be better as a 3D printing challenge than a puzzle. I also played with adding handles on either side of the chest that you could pull twist, or swing. The potential combination of moves between both handles could make for a fiendish challenge. Unfortunately, they didn't work with the Zelda chest theme, but it's an idea I plan to explore elsewhere. Rivets were also an obvious movable part, and they're very common in Zelda chests. They could be removed and used as lockpicks, or as latches when slid or twisted. I eventually chose a less obvious movable part, the slats that make up the chest itself. The sheer number of slats meant that any one could be relevant. The design was far from finished, but I had enough to begin modeling in Fusion 360. Fusion 360 is a CAD program, computer-aided design. It uses parametric modeling to define the objects you're creating. Creating an object is less like sculpting and more like drawing blueprints in three dimensions. This is great for projects like this, where specified dimensions are extremely important. A nice side effect of parametric modeling is that I can replay the modeling process without any of the dead ends, second guesses, or flat out mistakes I made in the process. It's about this point while modeling that I finally settled on using a gravity mechanism to limit when and how the sliding slats could move. I think it's also this extra limitation that moved it from being just a difficult to open box to an actual puzzle that you needed to figure out. In here we have a ready to print model, but it's only the beginning of the testing and refinement process. No matter how perfect a model looks in theory, reality is going to humble you. During my previous video, where we assembled a puzzle box, I tried to use this old weighted axle for the demo but the borehole was too tight for the mechanism to work well. 3D printed parts are never perfect, nor are they consistently imperfect in a predictable way, so designs must include leeway for these imperfections. In this case, I widened the hole beyond what would be strictly necessary with a perfect print. Some portions of the puzzle proved to be too weak. This arch in particular had a tendency to snap off when pulled. The solution in this case was to make these tabs longer so they'd be more surface area for glue to hold everything together. By far the biggest change to this puzzle came directly from player testing. And to demonstrate this, I brought Mega Chest. These three slat pieces need to either slide all the way out or all the way in for the mechanism to work. I overlooked that someone might move the slat only part of the way binding the mechanism, until they moved it back at least. While that could be considered part of the puzzle, there's nothing more frustrating than being stuck in a dead end and not even knowing it. In this case, a puzzle should guide the solver to the right direction. That's when magnets were added to the design. With a couple magnets on either end of each slat, there's no way to get stuck in that dead end. The magnets either pull the slat all the way in, or all the way out. No problem. Ultimately, I ended up making dozens of minor iterations to solve problems just like these. The key was observing how people used the puzzle and identifying where they got stuck, where something was a challenge, and where something was just simply frustrating or unfair. The end result is, I hope, a more enjoyable experience for everyone. Difficult, but fair. And that's it for the treasure chest puzzle box. I hope you enjoyed watching, and that you'll try your hand at either printing this puzzle or creating your own. Now it's time for me to start my next project, whatever that is.
Until then, thanks for stopping by.